Yo, as long yeah. as we have an offended church, we will never have a revived one. Come on. We can't experience that resurrection because resurrection means something had to die first. You cannot be offended and dead at the same time. We're so focused on trying to appease the Pharisees and Sadducees that we that we get out of we get out of position. The persecution is going to come, but I think we miss the fact that a lot of the persecution for Jesus came from the people who were supposed to be representing the same God that He did. And you have to be so 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 locked in that when when that type of stuff happens. You can say stuff like, I'm not even here from you. And I'm saying this from like a personal experience. I have worked at churches. I have been a part of churches where I'm looking at you like, yo, this ain't even about you. Like, like, like I'm only here because God said, like, if it was up to me, you would have been happy. Darius said it earlier. I believe it was Darius or Elisha. He said, there's one thing to have a moment, but it's another thing to meditate on a thing. What if the thing that is holding us back from our victories is our constant and continuous identification with who we were in the world? Many of us are literal living responses to things that have happened to us. Our whole character, all our behaviors are literally responses and defense mechanisms to shield us from allowing things that happen to us to happen to us again. Our attitudes, our charm, even the things that people applaud were created and formed to cover and smother the identity of God in order to keep us from being who was susceptible to pain, susceptible to rejection, susceptible to the offense of men. Ambassadors don't stay in that country. Ooh, they are in foreign boy. places. Your identity actually tells you that you have to go into uncomfortable spaces. My identity tells me that I have to be offended. My identity tells me that I should expect hardship. My identity tells me that I should expect to be uncomfortable. My identity tells me to lay down my life. My identity tells me that I should not regard myself above anybody else. My identity tells me that I should forgive as quickly as Christ forgave me. My identity calls me to die. When you are so focused on yourself, you think you're the best person to protect you. Again, that's a broken identity. Because if I understand who God is, I know now that when you offend me, you got to deal with him. I laid down my life. I didn't just lay it down. I surrendered it to God. So guess who has it now? So when you offend me, you got to deal with him because I'm focused on what he's called me to do. That, Come like, that's on, it. bro. That's it, bro. Like, like, let go of the offense. Keep forgiving. Don't, don't ask God if I should forgive. Ask God for the strength to forgive again. Keep going.